<sighs> Half an hour of my life, I'm never getting back. It's just, it's just a half an, a half an hour of my life I'm never getting back. Just stupid freaking half an hour I'm never getting back. Freaking walkthroughs being useless. <laughs> one guy just they went to the post like, oh, I don't know how to do this one. And just fucking stopped. It's like I let the cat out. He's like, oh, I don't know how to do this one. And then he just left. He just left the puzzle. That's not a walkthrough. You can't call yourself a walkthrough if you just fucking say, uh, I don't know, and you just leave. I mean, sure, he's a great guy and all. He's pissing me off. Yeah, shit. Now I forgot to do this one. I'm just gonna press buttons until shit happens. What the fuck is happening? I don't have time for this. Here we go. Alright, so this is where we left off last time. When I said that we were gonna do that stupid painting puzzle. But apparently, I'm not the only one who doesn't know what to do in that stupid puzzle. Meanwhile, this is the end of the game. We're reaching the... F this is the, f the finale, I think. Hopefully. Probably. Maybe. Most likely. It's gonna be the finale of Numa. It's been really fun, except for that one stupid rug puzzle and the stupid painting puzzle. Freaking shit that I can use in my living room is the most difficult puzzle. Oh, are you serious? Door! And this door puzzle. I Fuck this door. I hate it. Fuck this door. I hate it. I wish it died. I hate it. No! Why is it wake making me wait? Why is it making me wait? Get in there. Screw you, door. Alright, here we go. Here it is. Achievement unlocked. My perspective. Complete chapter 6. So I'm just gonna lie and say that I only needed one walkthrough to help me on one puzzle because those stupid pain puzzles didn't even help with the walkthroughs. They literally just went into the room shrugged and left that's not a walkthrough it doesn't help me like mm, and they leave they walk in mm, and they leave it's not a walkthrough the end of the path the destination oh. how can there be progress without a destination a few seconds ago there was nothing but now here i am surrounded by trees ready to hear them fall the path serves to direct my steps Disturbing that my steps are being directed. That's an unwelcome thought. I am aware, but I don't feel in control. I feel a lack of control and a control beyond my own. I don't want to roll away this stone. That nagging thought again. Why am I continuing? Despite my desire to the contrary. This is the progress I desired. The destination I set out for at the beginning. The knowledge I grasped for. The end of the road. There's no way back and knowledge Knowledge feels dangerous now. The stone is rolled away and in here I can see shadows dance on the walls. Projections. All this time I felt a presence watching over me. I felt a control beyond my own. No! No! Ah! No! Get off me! Get off me! I can feel you, distant person, controlling my every step. You've been here since the beginning, watching. Malevolent or benevolent, it makes no difference. You have no right! Get off! The door is closed. I can't go back. Well, did you pay your price for your slave? You deserve to control me. Is it your right? Is it? Go on, tell me, what was my price? You stand there in the distance. I can see it now. I cannot see your face, but I feel you like a rushing wind. You guide my steps. You order my steps. No, no, look away. Why should we go through here? There's no reason. Why must we travel through every door you wish? Elucidate me! Don't fight what about me, boy. Me, my desires? Let's just wait here, forever. I've never been alone. You move my world, manipulate me. But all this time you have placed my every footstep. How can I trust you? 
you've been watching over me secretly and silently since the beginning of time. That's pretty villainous. I want to go back. There's no other way but forward now, apart from infinite stillness. There's, there's no way back. Why do you drive me forward like an animal? Your insatiable appetite for closure? Show yourself, please. Your silence is deafening. You say nothing. You sit silently above, playing God. You are the danger. You move my world. I am the one who knocks. Here it is. I'm sorry I'm doing this to you, man. The leap I am the player. Faith. Don't touch that. You don't even know what it's for. Autonomy. The world is real too. Not a visage. A series of impulses. Simulating life not a well-conceived dream to be woken. It's a game. I'm not real. You've been watching me for all this time. Since the beginning of the universe. But you didn't say anything. You sat silently. Apparently, you think it's okay to just watch a person for hours. Why am I here, then? I am part of your game? Your entertainment? You play with my life. You move me around as you see fit. Tell me where to look, how to think. Manipulate my world. Push me down a path of your choosing. All for your appetite for closure. Am I your slave? What was my price? Or perhaps you're my spirit. Perhaps not. Perhaps my conscience, perhaps my consciousness. Maybe I'm a puppet and you're my master. Perhaps at this point, neither of us are in control. Few things are sure. I am not real. From nothing I came, and to nothing I will return. I am just a figment of an imagination. I am a character created to tell a story. The story of a person who observes their life, but is not in control. There's a puzzle for you. In the beginning, me. Possibly the best games with gold I've ever played. This was honestly, I can't think of a better puzzle game than this. I am thinking of one right now. Valiant Hearts is a pretty good game, but this was out of this world, man. This was amazing. I am so glad I played this game. I saw it on Games of Gold. I thought it looked dumb. I thought it was going to be really boring. I don't regret. This has been an amazing experience. I hope you guys loved it. Uh, my first two or three episodes, I know, haven't gotten any views yet. Which is a shame, because I want this game to be heard of. I want this game to be like... I just want this game to be heard of. I want people to play this game. If you're watching this right now, and if you haven't seen my other playthroughs, don't. Instead, get this game and play it on your own, because it's an amazing... That was amazing. I don't know who did the voice commentary for the, uh... The, uh, I guess, God. Or, I guess, 
the player, but he he did really fucking good. And the puzzles were either insanely easy, insanely dumb, and made no sense, or really hard. And honestly, the dumb ones, they weren't that dumb. Like, the ones where you just had to jump were kind of dumb. There's a, there's a couple dumb ones, which is really the only thing holding this game down. So, is Mac Review. I give this game a 9.7 out of 10. The only thing holding it down was there was a couple puzzles that were kind of dumb the way you solved them. They didn't make any sense, really. But honestly, none of the puzzles really made sense. It had, like, the most unique way of solving puzzles. I never thought I'd be solving puzzles with, like, the corner of my TV screen or looking at something and, like, looking at a certain angle and stuff like that. It was kind of confusing to get the hand of, but once you got the hand of it, it was honestly, like, something I've never played before. This game is amazing. That that epilogue, though, was... That gave me goosebumps. That gave me goosebumps. So yeah, the rug puzzle was pretty horrible, and the painting puzzle was horrible, too. Seeing how... <laughs> well, the painting puzzle wasn't all that bad. It was just the fact that... <laughs> there wasn't a single walkthrough I looked up that the person solved that puzzle. I watched, like, five videos... Couldn't find anything. Oh. My name is Ismac7. Go ahead and leave a comment on how you feel, how we can improve, or suggestions for the next game I should play. Remember that I only have an Xbox One, and I am just a poor little high school kid, which means my my current my money is not the uh, the highest amounts. So know that I can't just buy a PC and get like fucking. Fucking Daisy on the PC. I can't really do that. Although Daisy is coming out on Xbox One in the future, so maybe I'll play that. I don't know. I know that I'm going to stream some Ark Survival Evolved with Xenogenesis Gamers. That's going to happen in the future as soon as Ark comes out on Xbox One, which I think is sometime in December. I'm not sure. Either way. So yeah, comment. Comment in the video. Like this if you enjoyed it. Share this to anyone who you think may enjoy it and subscribe to my channel for more. I am Ismac7, and I'll see you guys in the next one.